everybody, this is Sherry at dgsundry.blogspot.com and I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I have just been so crazy busy I haven't had time to do one. So I wanted to do one for today and this is a card that I made for a friend. Now this is a little bit different than my normal video so if this is the first time that you've been on my channel, um, typically when I do card videos they are actually tutorials and this one's more of a kind of show and tell but I wanted to show you the items that I use and then I'll show you the finished card and instead of a tutorial this time so I use quite a few things most of them are in front of me not all of them and I'll tell you what isn't in front of me as I come to that in the project so I needed a couple of different ink pounds I use memento tuxedo black and I use dusty conquer distress ink which is one of my favorites from three girl jam I use um, two gorgeous ribbons. This is Baby Girl and this is Iris. Now um, in my project the Iris is a little bit lighter. Um, Julie has reformulated the um, Iris and it's a little bit darker than what it was in um, than what it used to be and I just used up the last of the lighter color but this new color is gorgeous. So keep an eye out for that. It's just a beautiful color. Um, I used, um, this is from Inka Dinka Do, and I used a couple of stamps from this set. I used this little teddy bear, and I'm sure there's a glare on it, um, but I used this little teddy bear, and then I used A Baby is a Precious Gift, and this is from the Welcome Baby set from Inka Dinka Do. And then I had this vellum, and this is vellum I've had for a long time, and I don't think you can probably catch all of the stuff that's in the vellum but it's actually pink and white or off-white teddy bears and I use this and I did it in kind of a different way and I'm kind of excited to show you that and then I have this really super old pad of paper I believe it's from Provocraft it's lost its cover through the years um, and I doubt if it's still being made but I use several papers from this the first one I used was a, pa a piece like this that's kind of a pinkish purplish with yellow and white polka dots with the subtle cream undertones and you'll see on the finished card how it almost takes on more of when I look at it like this it seems more pink but when I look at it on the card it almost seems more purple I use this a piece of this pink and then I use a piece of this lavender or purple. Um, I also use several Prisma colors. Um, I'll just read those off. I used um, Sienna Brown, Dark Umber, Pink, Black, Violet, Burnt or Ochre, Peach, and Parma Violet. And those are just some of the ones that I used. And then I used some twine from the twinery. I used um, the Blossom Twine. And this is the finish project. I'm just going to lay it down right there so that you can see it. And this is how it's a little different. Um, I'm going to raise the vellum layer. And this vellum layer I cut to be four and a quarter by five and a half, the same size as my card base. And this is actually an A2 size card, but as you can see, it's cut. And this is, I just used Georgia Pacific white paper card from um, Walmart. Now beware if you use it, it's a little it's a little bit thinner than some of your better, heavier card stocks. It works okay as long as you're putting plenty of layers, but if you're not doing a lot of layers, it's not as heavy and it doesn't give that feel of a quality card. But when you're layering, it works beautifully and it's very inexpensive. Plus I use it for all different things. And so that's what I used here. You can see here I've got a little bit of that iris. And then I've also get, got some baby girl. And I just punched holes in and I ran it and I tied a bow. And then I tied this little charm that was from a stash. It was actually from a rack from someone. And it's like a little elephant. And I tied that onto the center of bow with a bow from the twine, from the twinery. And then um, if I raise the vellum layer, you'll see the other layers. You'll see that I made the purple. Um, to be my base layer on top of my card and I just barely used enough I just cut it down an eighth of an inch so there's just like a sixteenth of an inch all the way around and then this one I cut about a quarter of an inch smaller and put it on and then this is my teddy bear that I colored with all of those colors with the Prisma colors and I use Gamsol to go in and soften it and blend the colors together. And then I use the Dusty Concord to ink around the edges. Um, it's just a really cute bear. And it's really muted when it goes over the top. But I just wanted that layer 
um, to provide that touch. Of course I had to do the inside because that's what I do. And this I just put the plain pink on top of the um, plain purple and I stamped a baby is a precious gift. So there we have today's card share. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Remember to take some time to enjoy the little things and come back soon. Hopefully we'll have some more projects. Have a great day. Bye.